right now greatest lift in America and uh, we're about to pass the fingers this is where it all goes down on a powder day crowd goes nuts when the first guy comes over the peak and lines it up see how much balls he has and which finger he's gonna take you want to show off you want to show everybody how rad you are on a powder day you got to ski that in front of everybody because they'll all be watching all several hundred people of down there in the KT line and on the lift they'll all be watching you it can be fun but not if you take a hard fall on some rocks. Uh, powder Days of Squaw, there's people usually in line by 6.30 in the morning, sometimes 6 o'clock in the morning for a 9 o'clock opening. Can't say I've done it myself, but I can uh, say I've witnessed some pretty good shows. Sometimes like pushing and shoving on Powder Days. I have never, ever been in line that early. There's a 15 minute wait on the gates. Yeah, you get two seconds before the gates open and close. But it's a good system except for the little guys. They sometimes have to jump or have their instructors lift them. Kind of like cattle herding. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have to do a little hip check sometimes. Sometimes we have to do a little shoulder dip, a little how's your mother. You can see almost everything everybody's doing from the chairlift. You'll hear people heckling you as you're skiing lines here. And that's, that's completely considered OK here. It's like. If you pause on a line right next to the chair, you better expect to get heckled. What's going on, dude? Not much. How's it going? You guys racers? J3? Yeah, training for Junior Olympics. You guys made the JOs. Where are they at this year? McCall, Idaho. Congrats, you guys. Yeah, thank you. Big time. <laughs> it's about 1,800 vertical feet. It's a fast, high-speed quad. Yeah, this is the original. They got rid of this back in 95 or 96 or something. And there's a lot of terrain that you can ski off of this lift. We're standing underneath one of the alternates. There's uh, several of them here at Squaw. It's on the west side of KT-22. They're a great place to ski on a powder day. There's KT-22, the mountain right there. You got Shoot 75, the west face, Johnny Mosley's run. Rock Garden, that's Eagle's Nest right there. It's one of our uh, you know, classic lines here uh, at Squaw on KT-22. If you're a local here and you ski Squaw, you gotta, you gotta make some tracks down Eagle's Nest at least once. Yeah, you might pinball off some rocks and get hurt, but usually you're only gonna pinball once or twice, and it's lower mountain. So on storm days, it's open a lot of times. And it's just, that's why people call it the mothership. I haven't ridden anything like it. It's the mothership. That's why people call it the greatest lift in America. And that's why we love it so much, because there's just so much to do, so much vertical, and so many runs to be had. Just a hell of a lot of fun to be had on that mountain. Dave's Deli, ask for an egg on it. Then you get the $5 lunch, the King Cobra, and the Rad Egg McMuffin. There you have it. Is, how, and where is this place in relation to KT22? Is it right below it? It's at the bottom of the chair. For the last, you know, several years, it's been all about heli skiing and, and powder skiing only, which is nice. Everybody wants that. But to really show off a really, you know, good skier, he's got to shred in the hard pack, you know, through all the chop, you know, past all the other skiers at a resort. Jim Shane, the guy that started the gold miner's daughter at the base of Alta, that's who I was named after, Jim Shane. James Shane is my name. Do something that's watching yourself. Yeah, and yeah. Testing. Scare you need to scare you like have one of those situations <laughs> and you make it, you know, you're like whether you're biking or even driving in